Hi, Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat, or should that be sitting? Anyway, I'm in a Porsche 911 GT3 RS 991 generation. And next to me is a Volkswagen Beetle. So we're gonna race an old Beetle against a new Beetle. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, engine's at the back, blah, blah, blah. Actually, the engine isn't at the back in that car. It's got an electric motor instead from a Tesla. <laughs> yes, it's an electric Beetle. So that Beetle's green and this Beetle is green in colour. Not in terms of emissions though, oh no. Because this thing, it has a four litre flat six naturally aspirated engine, which revs all the way up to, just got to check, 9,000 RPM. Puts out 520 horsepower and 470 newton meters of torque. It drives the rear wheels only via a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox. It's relatively light for a sporty modern car. Comes in at 1,430 kilos. It's an expensive thing. New, the starting price of the 911 991 generation GT3 RS was 144,000 pounds. This one though has got a load of options such as the Visac pack on it. So it was about 180 or so thousand pounds. Now, to tell you about that Beetle, we're going to speak to its owner. Hello, Richard Morgan. How are you in your Beetle? Good morning, Matt. I'm very well, mate. You ready to rock and roll and race? I'm definitely ready to race. It's like kind of old tech versus new tech, isn't it? But the new tech is in the old Beetle and the uh, new tech is... Oh, anyway. You know what I mean. I know what you mean, mate. I've, I've brought the great-grandfather of that car. It's a 1972 1303S, but instead of S for slow, this time it's S for Model S motor, because that's what I've got in the back. So how much horsepower and torque you got then? So horsepower-wise, I've got about 450 horsepower and about 675 newton meters of torque, which is about 10 times more horsepower than the original petrol engine that was in it. Yeah, because Beatles are slow unless they're Porsche Beetles. So I've got more power than you, you've got more torque. What's the weight of that thing? Obviously you've got a bunch of batteries in it, right? Yeah, the weight's around about 1,050 kilos. It's got a bit of weight with the batteries, but we compensate that a little bit with the carbon fiber panels we've got all over it. So it's around about the same weight as the original Beetle. Oh my gosh. So you've got a bit less power, a lot less weight, a bunch more torque. Oh, okay, this is gonna be interesting. Hopefully you've got a lot less traction though. <laughs> Yeah, you've hit the nail on the head there, mate. It's definitely traction limited, this car. I'll tell you what else it's limited. Sound limited. Shall we, shall we do a sound check? Yeah, let's do a sound check. Yeah, I'll probably just be doing this on my own, all right? But just roll your window down and enjoy this. Oh, you'll probably have to reach across. To roll your window down because it's just manually operated. Yeah. High-tech motor, low-tech interior. Anyway, everybody listen to this. Put the car into gear, pull up both paddles. <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh, I'll be sad when cars can't do that anymore. Go on, uh, Richard, do you want to make some noises? Uh, yeah. <laughs> i got to say, that does sound lovely, but it's just wasted energy at the end of the day. Well, would you say that like an orchestra, like playing its instruments is wasted energy? It's just the same thing, isn't it? It's just air. Yeah, you, you got me there. I've definitely got him there. Anyway, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of these videos. Also, if you want to check out Richard's stuff and the, all the electric cars he does, it's the classic electric car company. Links in the description. Okay? What's that? You want to race? Well, before we race, why don't you follow me on Instagram, right? Matt Watson Cars. Please. No, that sounds a bit needy. Let's race. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Now before we race, it's only sensible for both of us to warm up our tyres because we're on very track-focused tyres. They're Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s and they're rubbish cold. So Rich, do you want to go first and um, do what you need to do? Wow. <laughs> that looked wicked. Richard, that looked amazing. That burnout was wicked because it was silent. <laughs> Sorry, your tyres are cooling down. I better do mine quickly. Now, this car's been lent to me by a chap called Rob Galvin. Thank you very much for lending me your car, Rob. And I'm sorry for what I'm about to do to it. Don't blame me. Blame Carwow, the viewers. But I don't know. I want my tyres up. Right, let's do it. Hopefully they're warm. Three, two, one. 
Come on. Yes. Bye bye electric car. Oh, feels so good inside. Let me, I need to get forward. Oh, my walkie-talkie handily went under my brake pedal. Um, Richard, I don't think you had a very good start, did you? You got beaten by old technology. Yeah, I was waiting around too long because somebody was warming their tyres, mate, so mine went cold. I reckon another run. I reckon we can do another run. We can definitely do another run. Three, two, one. Oh, it's close. Oh, this is so close! Come on, 911! Oh, here we go! That's more like it! Oh no! Come on! Come on, I'm pulling it back! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on. Go, 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 go! Oh. Okay, Rich, um, I make it one each. Best two out of three. Go on there, mate. Do you want to swap? Yeah, I'll have a go in yours. Yeah, yeah, why not? Let's do it. Let's swap cars. All right, Richard, um, listen, your car is absolutely tiny inside and I've got nowhere to put my walkie-talkie or even my mic. Do you just hold things between your legs by your balls? Not with me, mate. There's not enough room between my legs. <laughs> Fortunately, there is between mine, but oh well. <laughs> Right, do you mind if I warm up your tyres? I'm going to do it in yours anyway. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm laughing like a sea. I was like, ar, ar, ar. <laughs> Oh my God, that's nuts! <laughs> I wonder if it'll donut. Oh God! It's all wheel, but it doesn't have the balance of the 911. Oh! <laughs> I'm a little bit sick. A few moments later. <laughs> All right then, Rich, this is the decider. I know this is your car and you probably want it to win, but you've got to make sure you launch properly in that Porsche. You want this to be a fair race. You got it? I got it, mate. This isn't my car, so I'm going to thrash the nuts off it. That's the story of my life, though. <laughs> right, let's do this. Come on. Three, two, one. Neck and neck off the line. saw that when he changed gear this thing had gone because it's just constant power God, that's close oh that was interesting great launch so close between the two of us but as you change from either first to second or second to third this just has constant power constant power I just took you, but then you were coming back at the end. It's the gear changes where I lose. Uh, every time a gear change happens, it literally goes back about a meter. And the interesting thing is that seven speed dual clutch automatic is one of the fastest changing automatics in the world ever. Uh, maybe, but it's, no, it's, no, it's not as fast as an electric motor with no gears, is it? No, no, good point, well made. Anyway, that was a lot of fun. I love this car. It's completely berserk. <laughs> So then what exactly happened? Well, the electric Beetle won, completing the standing quarter mile in 11 seconds dead. Meanwhile, the Porsche Beetle took 11.1 seconds. Right, now we're going for a rolling race. And because Richard's car is electric, it has no gears, we're gonna do it slightly differently. So we're gonna start off by doing a rolling race from 30 miles an hour. And I don't know what gear I'm gonna be in, I'll decide. I'll count it in and we'll see what happens. Oh, there's one other thing. What's the top speed of your car, Richard? Originally, it was about 85 miles an hour, but 
I don't know is the answer to that. I mean, the speeder goes up to 100 and the needle go all the way around and hit the zero pin, uh, I reckon around about 130. So maybe 130, let's find out. Come on then, get level, I'll call it in. So 30 miles an hour. Do you know what? This has got all the revs. I think I'm gonna do it from first. Here we go, I'm gonna count it in. Three, two, one, go. Come on, 911. Oh, he's just gone. Right, that's a hundred. And the needle stopped working. <laughs> it's a half mile. Whoa, you shot off. Totally shot off. You're going well, and then you suddenly like stopped accelerating just before the half mile, which means I beat you to the half mile. Was that because you like hit top speed, or was it because it was just like starting to lose power at the top end? No, I think I just maxed out, mate. I was, I was counting the needle around to 100, and then it just went to the uh, needle like uh, stop at zero, and then kind of like hit, hit a brick wall. So I'm pretty sure 130 is top end. Right, we'll try something else. So this time we're going to hit from 50 miles an hour and I think I'm going to be in second gear. It's quite interesting to see the response of this engine compared to that electric car. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. It was close. up on this thing for an internal combustion engine is so good the throttle response is amazing and we take off pretty much identical but you just have that more torque that pushes you ahead and then i slowly start reeling you in it's awesome mate as soon as you touch the throttle i'm gone but at 130 miles an hour it's like bang that's it but it's it's straight as a die i'm very impressed with this car at top speed Okay, one last thing to do. Let's see what it's like at stopping. Have you got upgraded brakes on there? Looks like you have. I've got Porsche 996 or 997 front brakes, but I can't remember uh, exactly which ones they are. But I think you're going to win this because uh, the brakes aren't brilliant and those brakes are absolutely fantastic. The, those brakes are as big as my wheels. Yeah, because I've just noticed your wheels actually. They're Porsche 911 turbo twists and the brake discs look about the same size as those on my Porsche 911 996 and they're small compared to these, right? <laughs> these are much bigger. But let's see what happens when we do the brake test from 70 miles an hour. Okay, when we reach the line, full emergency stop. There it is. <laughs> bye bye, Richard. <laughs> oh, that wasn't bad. It's not too bad. Just like a car's length, that's all. It's not bad for a 1970s car, is it? Let's face it. With the 1990s car's brakes. Yeah, true. Well, that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. So he won the drag race. He won the rolling races. Well, actually, no, he didn't. We did it to the half mile. This won the rolling races and the brake test. So yes, it's a win for the internal combustion engine. Now, if you're after an electric car, which you can buy, that's very fast as well, and you want to check out the latest deals on it, click on the pop-out banner up there to go see the car that I've chosen for you and to check out the saving through car wow and as ever if you haven't subscribed to this channel please make sure you do and finally please follow richard on instagram please follow me on instagram links are in the description and in the comments please say a big thank you to rob for lending us his 911 gt through rs i reckon you should do a, a real big massive smoky burnout in this and just destroy the tires for the uh youtube did you hear that so he wants me to go in his car and destroy the tires for him for you guys. Shall I? Let's do it. All right, what are we going to do? There's two of us in the car. What's happening? Are we going for a nice leisurely drive? <laughs> <laughs> no. Have you packed the picnic? No. We're going to we are just... close in here though, aren't we? We are, isn't it? It's we... almost like we're spooning. Yeah. <laughs> we're <misses. laughs> Oh, we're going to uh, destroy the, what's left of the tyres, mate. So, okay, uh, all right, how do we do that? Well, there's only one, one way to do it, massive burnout. So we've got a line lock in this. Okay. So what that is, essentially, that holds the brake pressure on the front axle, and then you can uh, take your foot off the brake, but it holds it, and then you floor it. So the rear's light up, but the front brakes are on. Okay. Okay, so I'll do all that. All you have to do is floor it. I can do that. And hold your breath when the smoke starts coming in. Yeah, I can do that as well. So let's let's try it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my God. Here we it's go. Like a smoke machine. Can't see where we're going. Ready, steady. Yeah, go. <laughs> oh my god! god it is! <laughs> Look at that, that's wicked! Can you check if the tyres are road legal, please? There's enough tread left, Nick. Can you just have a look at them? Let's have a look. It'll, it'll be like slicks. Do you look at that? That is insane. Look at this! Look at this! <laughs> look at that! Look at that! The tyres are actually road legal still, I think. That's cup twos for you. They're very, very strong tyres. Lovely. I hope you all enjoyed the video, by the way. If you did, give it a like. Click on those windows there for more videos and on that box there to go to the car where I drag race leaderboard to see how these cars' times compare to all the other cars that we've drag raced. That was weird. <laughs>